We end here tonight with a final farewell to a Marine who made a huge difference in the way he served and in the way he wrote. Dean Reynolds and an American hero. Ready, aim, fire. Everybody who knew Marine Colonel Mark Smith felt he had a gift. The way that he would show his emotions. I'm not sure that I've been around many leaders who believe in the people that they're around and show that as much as he, as he did. Smith was Adam Holton's superior in the Reserve's 2nd Battalion, 24th Regiment, south of Baghdad, an area known as the Triangle of Death. He knew that it was important for our families to know what we were going through so they could relate to us as, as well as is possible. Colonel Smith would write weekly emails to the families stateside, soul-searching stories of life and death in Iraq at the height of the insurgency in 2004 and 2005, as he told CBS News back then. How many Marines did you lose? We've lost 10. And how many wounded? Uh, we're up to uh, about uh, 67 wounded. This is what Smith wrote to the families afterwards. I saw some of the toughest Marines I have ever known shedding tears and talking of the importance of holding the hands and stroking the heads of their fallen friends and their undying love for them. The Colonel didn't sugarcoat it. Oh, he did not. Four died in one IED attack that nearly killed Corporal Scott Crutchton. He had his finger on the pulse uh, of where we were, what was happening. Barbara Wentworth's son served under Smith, and she volunteered to distribute his emails to an anxious address list. This was on his Marines at Christmas time. I'm bright enough to know and sharp enough to see this time of year is dealing a hefty blow to my beloved Marines. I know they long for the sights, hunger for the tastes, and yearn for the touch of loved ones. Last Friday, Colonel Mark Smith died of cancer at the age of 54. He was buried today, but his words live on. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Indianapolis.